welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, today we got the SCS W900 in uh, big sky trucking we've got a, the Antari or Antir how you say it Antari uh, Blackhawk on here with a, a double engine to push pull scraper on I think it's 116,000 pounds or somewhere in around that range and um, yeah it should be an uh, interesting trip we are in Lakeview, Oregon, and we're heading down to Winnemucca, uh, Nevada. And uh, we've got, I better show you on the map because we got the Reforma map in here. So it's be a little different. This part's the same. No change here. Imagine this is all the same. Winnemucca is totally different. And we'll get on this freeway here and head on over and take a little dirt road on into the site. So should be pretty interesting. I like this drive here, even though, you know, it's old scenery and stuff. Uh, I, I do like it. It's a nice drive. So, we're also going to try something different on this one. Um, I may be oh, the vice president of America, a sec. but you're the president of this car. Car? And it's time to take action. Buckle up, President Wazer. <laughs> um, okay. So... Uh, what I was, oh, let's get something on our display here. I don't know if we, you know, in real, reality, we want to be measuring those temps. We'll look at those before we push it too hard, it'll come up. Uh, <clears throat> so, anyway, what I'm going to try and do, and I think it was a suggestion by a reader, if I'm not mistaken in what I was reading in the YouTube comments, and that was... Why don't I just answer the comments in the video? And, uh, sort of an interesting notion. So I'll try and do that. I believe we're hanging right here. Yep. Turn right. C12 from Slav Jerry here. So I didn't go with the dash with the full instruments because, well, it wasn't in this profile. <laughs> I'm actually in my FLX profile. And I just put, a, this is on Friday, I'm doing this. And I just put the FLX skin up on uh, Steam. In 400 meters, turn right. Now, do I gotta turn right here? I don't. Yeah, I do. Yeah, there's no road, no turn straight right. through. So we can get turned around this corner here without taking out that fire hydrant or whatever's over there. Yeah, I think there was there a hydrant? Yeah. Yeah, we missed it. That'd be cool if, if you hit the fire hydrant and big geyser goes up back under it for a truck wash. Yeah, see, we got zero miles on this truck. She's brand new. Let's take it easy on it. Temps are still coming up. Yeah, we're not, we're not hot. It's not warm enough to push it yet. Um, yeah, what was the first question? Anyway, let's see. Uh, just picking them sort of random. Uh, Peter says... In 400 meters. Turn left. Do you always get up this early? And he was commenting on the fact that the videos come out at 5 a.m., Turn left. And heck no. 5 a.m. I'm still drooling on Mr. Pillow. Uh, what I, I usually, unfortunately, I have really long days. They, they start fairly early and I get, you know, do a few things around the house. I usually get started and I watch a bit of news in the morning, have my breakfast and stuff. Get at least one coffee in me and then come down usually around 8.30 to 9 or 9. That's what when I start on my skinning stuff and making videos and whatever. And I generally work at it depending what else is going on. Like today I was out all morning with my, uh, you know, car club buddies and doing stuff and driving around town. That's actually what inspired this load and getting a triple on and haul on a scraper. <laughs> um, but anyway, no, I, uh, and then I usually, depending on what's going on and how much stuff I got to do, I'll usually try and wrap it up by midnight. I don't get much sleep. I, um, 
try and get to bed by in 400 meters midnight right. but I'm usually pretty wound up and so I end up uh, browsing news and stuff turn like right. that on my phone yeah. and catching up if there's anything that I need to respond to that's important on discord and if there isn't then I try to get lights out officially by one o'clock in the morning so it's a long day usually a lot happens like <laughs> so anyway that's the name of that tune oh I gotta keep this darn phone active here somehow try and see what's another question here oh went the wrong way in the phone I just took pictures of them with my phone. Guys, okay, so, um, so who's asking? Uh, Chow is asking, uh, how do you enable Bart's trailer for ATS expansion sites? Well, that would be a question for ATS expansion, because for us users, it either works or it doesn't. But anyway, yeah, when I was driving, uh, so meters, one of the things I did right. this Friday morning was uh, went with a buddy, drove his Suburban up, well, he drove his hot rod up to a transmission shop and right. way up in the northwest end of town, and I'm in the right. southwest. It's a long drive. And uh, on the way back, well, we went back and picked it up after he was getting an analysis done. And... Uh, so I'm driving back in his truck and I'm merging onto the, the highway, you know, the perimeter road that goes around the city to the southwest direction. And I could see in the mirror coming up was a triple low boy. And I can't remember what was pulling it. I think it was a Kenworth. I just can't remember the model. And uh, triple low boy, the scraper on it, earth hauler. And dang, I wanted to slow down on the ramp and wait till he could catch up to me, but he wasn't making very much headway, and there was traffic stacking up behind me. So, I th And then as soon as we get on, we we're going across a big bridge across the river. It just sort of down, and then we had to go up the other side. And I was thinking, okay, well, it's like five lanes here, and two of them are going to go that way. So I'll kind of ride that middle lane, and hopefully... Oh, it's not steering too good. Lots understeer. Um, I was hoping I could go slow enough that he would get close enough I could get down around him somewhere and get a photo or if he kept going straight up the other side of the hill instead of turning off west I would have went up to the top and hopped out on the shoulder and got some photos or a little video but he turned off and then you know I was hooped I was already past the turn off and I'm following my buddy home <laughs> Oh, going to his place. He's bringing his hot rod back. So that didn't work out. It's a bit of a bummer. And on the way up there, saw a triple low boy as well, empty. It was a nice looking, nice looking unit. So I just had to come home and get a triple low boy going. Let's see if there's another question in that same frame. No, we gotta scroll. It's gonna make a long drive if I'm trying to drive and do this and crash the truck. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh shoot, I went the wrong way. Gotta go this way. <laughs> yeah, this question is the fellow, uh, who was it, by the way? Let's see. Rally 145. <clears throat> really enjoys the videos, but wonders why I'm always in a hurry. <laughs> well, I think that previous question kind of answers that, because I just try and squeeze a bajillion things into a day. And, you know, my big deal, like, primary thing I do is make skins. That's the biggest time eater every day, and... 
the skins I make take a little while, most of them. It's not super easy. Some aren't too bad, like these recent Hell Creek trucking ones aren't terrible to do. No stripes. Anyway, look at where we are here. Oh, we don't have a roof cam in this truck. Wow, that's a shocker. It's an SCS truck. This is nice to hear in this drive up the, the hill here. We're going to have to try and get some uh, lookouts over that valley. Actually, you got to remember to take a photo. That's a, a really good place to get a photo up here. So, yeah, I'm always in a hurry because just like there's not, not you know, I, I'm the kind of guy that there's not enough hours in a day. Like a day's got to be the day was 36 hours long. And I only need six of it to sleep. Man, I could get some things done. I drink a little more coffee. <laughs> but it'd be nice to get more done in a day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna hit that car. Ooh. Why were you not? Uh... Oh shoot! Grab the wrong gear. One of these days, SCS will get in here and do like they did with the California rework. That's just about how fast that guy was going. I couldn't wait for him because there's that one I saw in traffic today. It just would have been impossible. I'd like to go down and explore that little road down there. Hey, time for a photo. All right. Well, while I was taking the photo, I took a quick uh, moment to uh, check another question. And uh, Black Dragon was asking uh, if I could post a link to the tool. And he was referring to the TSSE tool uh, in that video where I was talking about the profiles. I believe it should have been in the description. I'll have to go back and look. I usually post the uh, links of what's important in a video in the in the description. I do forget sometimes, so anyway, that's worth a look. Scott Zwen was laughing because I actually pronounced uh, Tonopah right in that recent video, but I murdered Aho or Aho a few times. I think it's Aho. I think I'm not supposed to say a <laughs> because that has an unfortunate connotation to it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's my, might be what he was giggling at. So there is that. Uh, there was another question about, uh, I forget who asked it. I, uh, I'd have to go back and look, but it was about the uh, SII Decrypt tool. And that, I have a link to that in my Discord. So I believe I put it in the Goggles Google Drive channel so if you're not on my discord you should just jump on there and join it there's lots of good stuff going on in there all the time lots of good people too really oh, oh, oh this isn't gonna oh man yeah it's it's heavy we're uh yeah one thousand hundred fifteen thousand pounds so she's not handling real sporty right here. A lot of understeer uh, with the tri drive with all the weight on it. So it wants to go straight. It, it did. I did test the steering out on the way to pick up the load, and it steered a lot better. So I'm assuming that they're. And I know uh, Recon and I were doing a little test on his. Uh, oh. East Glacier driving up that road out of there on the first iteration of that that if you had a Jeep on your low boy and 55,000 pounds on it you couldn't get up the uh, hill on the way out but if you had that same load on a straight trailer with no Jeep that trailer load was transmitted to the truck and you had traction so I'm pretty sure it's safe to say they are putting the Turn right. Putting the cargo weight onto the uh, drivers. 
so I'm going to go on a limb and say that that's why this thing is, you know, three axles in a row with all that weight on them. They don't have any scrub in them. They want to go straight. Turn right. That doesn't, uh, makes it want to, uh, just plow straight on. Sledges, Matt would say. Try a little drive-by here. Oh, look, the traffic we're building up behind us. here. Let's see what's next. Oh, Kenneth, uh, Earl, oh man, I keep getting it wrong. Ulrichsen, he's from Denmark, I believe, uh, is commenting that the Viper was his first mod truck. He didn't comment on that Viper video and yeah, me too, I think. Uh, the Viper was in the K100 both around the same time. Both free mods on Steam and... Well, I drove the heck out of that Viper, I'll tell you, early on. And then I bought uh, John Rudis 389. That was uh, a good one. It still is. Really love it. I just... Uh, I just get sort of disappointed in the templates. Now Root is doing their templates. Oh, we're almost getting up to highway speed here. Look at us go. Nice straight stretch here. We'll be able to pull up another question here, I think. Let's see what else we got. Oh, he's asked about the pivot roof cam. Roof cam. Oh, which, oh, oh, we're looking the right direction here. Shoot, I didn't get the whole thing. Um, what truck was that? Uh, I didn't do, uh, let me think. Oh, boy. I wonder if it was Dom's. Wait, if it was Dom's. Got a mod for it that makes it work. You got to put it right down just above Dom's truck. I'll have to check with the guys and see what we're running there, because in all honesty, I have a hard time keeping up some time with what we're doing. That would be in convoy, but, you know, uh, that's where we've been using it. And, um, yeah, I'll have to research that question a little better and then do a better job of answering it. Maybe in the live stream, I can uh, sort that out for you. Live stream on later on Saturday. Let's see what else we got. Oh, okay, somebody's looking for Slav Jerry's Mega Pack. And uh, that that was put on his Discord by one of his users who compiled it. So I have a copy of it on my uh, Google Drive. And there's a Keep link. Right. And pin, turn right. There's a link to that on my goggles Google Drive as well and it has some uh, modified engines in it too above and beyond what come from Slav Jerry turn right and I think Chad uh, Barksdale may have even had a couple <laughs> hyper motors like real big power ones Uh, some classic EJ wheel in there. I must have been doing something goofy. Oh, corner coming. 
I read that? Oh, somebody was commenting on that Mexico run that we did in Convoy. Oh, and uh, that would have been last Friday night's live stream. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. And some of the things we get up to in those live streams. Ooh. Too bad they don't have an adult version of uh, YouTube. <laughs> or, oh man, when the, when the recording's over, it's pretty funny. It gets wild. But I mean, I gotta say, it's certainly not suitable for family viewing. But funny? My word. Great bunch of guys that we have together, and I encourage you folks out there to you know either develop or get some pals it's it's unfortunate that, you know you can only have so many and i gotta admit you don't want to have a whole like you know if you could have 50 people on a convoy it just everybody it'd just be lost like you got to get a, a tight group of you know three four five six people or whatever and and get yourself going with a convoy it's so much fun and the conversation can be anything. It's, In 400 meters, turn right. And it, and it just, it's funny, like, you know, different people are in different moods and different days or whatever, but we generally, uh, turn right. you know, I just have a really good time. And I'm sure that if anybody's feeling a little glum, they get cheered up by the end of it with all the tomfoolery. I think we're going to just go. There's, oh, they're probably going now. Oh, they are. Shoot. It's funny, they'll sit there and wait and then see you come into the intersection and then decide to go anyway. That was a bummer. I'm gonna pay attention to this road here a little bit before we try and get another question going. Sort of narrow here. Yeah, I'd made some changes to... Oh, I'm in 149, I forgot to mention. And I guess I would have been... I should have said that right off the top, because you'd be wondering how I got in Sierra Nevada. This light's going to change here, don't it? There we go. See how different this transmission is than the last one we had went, you know, didn't have to split any gears in the low range. Vastly different gear ratios. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, that was the end of the questions. Should have put more in there. I think I could probably go back through it once we get parked. Have a quick look to see if there's any I missed. Yeah, we got to get in that left lane here. Keep left. And then turn left. We're going to have to just kind of... There we go. Give that guy a little fright. Turn left. Half the time I do that without even realizing I'm doing it. <laughs> Would have been nice. <clears throat> I forgot that the roof camera didn't work in this... Uh, SCSW 900. I find that kind of odd. I think it works on the 389. That was another question somebody had, or, or you know, just a comment, or they were wishing that SCS would update the 389. I certainly agree. I, uh, that would be fantastic. If they could put a dashboard as nice as this one in the 389, because its dashboard is pretty, pretty mediocre really really showing its age I wasn't around at the beginning of uh, ATS of course so 
I don't know when the, it was the 389, one of the first trucks in the game. tuning pack but you don't have a lot of choices for fenders for the triaxle they got these like pretty much tuner fenders on there I wonder if I could have left them off I, I just don't remember now if you have to choose something so I thought oh what the heck they, they fit the tires okay a little bit of room for the axle to move Retro wheels, of course. I love the retro wheels. Not crazy about the tires, but I love the wheels. They always look good. Doesn't matter what light uh, condition there is. And I find, I like Jaspers. They're accurate. They look good in certain light. But certain light conditions, they, they look kind of, you know, nah, not so good. It's a bummer. I like my truck to look good in, yeah, I'm sorry, I should say my view of what looks good. My taste and other people's may not, may vary. So this is the 700 horsepower version of Slav Series C12 Cat. Keep right and in exit right. Boy, we never did get up to a great rate of speed. 80 mile an hour Exit highway. Right. We got a little over 50. In 400 meters, turn right. There's our scenic drive up ahead. If you guys think this is a good idea to uh, turn right get some questions all lined up and answer them in the video let me know if that's something we should keep doing what I should do I should screenshot them with my tablet put them on there oh just getting a fuel warning range is 127 miles uh, I got realistic fuel consumption turned on here too I don't know if we'll be able to drive to fuel after this. Might have to uh, fly out of here. There's fuel. Yeah, that was where we got on the highway, I think, at Winnemucca. Hmm. Yeah, because we're, you know, we're down to 100 miles of fuel already. I could probably uh, turn off the realistic fuel consumption and limp it out. It's a pretty good looking scraper though. Oh, there's a hole in the mountain. <laughs> you see right there, look at that. Oh boy. Oh, that's too bad. Make it a tourist uh, destination. Come and see the hole in the mountain. Oh boy, downhill now. We have to be careful. <coughs> the 
going too fast here. It's our destination coming into sight. Oh baby, sharp turn. Soft shoulders and dangerous curves. More train problems right there. Guess I haven't been up here and revisited this in a while. <clears throat> I think we gotta do a little driving through this site to get where we're going. Yeah. Been a long time since I've been up here. A couple of years at least, maybe more. Took a wrong turn. We're supposed to go over to that other one? Oh shoot. Yeah. Heard that little chirp and I was wondering. Make a U-turn. Let's keep our enemies guessing. Okay, we're gonna We're gonna try and dodge him here, Morgan. We'll fool him. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that front end push. Holy. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that realistic fuel consumption. Let's see if we can get something sorted out here. Uh, I should be able to call. I want to. Oops. What do I got to do here? F7. There's a thing I can do here. Where is it? I have to hit enter? No. Oh, there we go. Emergency refueling. Yep. Okay, we got enough fuel to go 110 miles, which is just back up to the road. <laughs> the rate this is going. Okay, we have the parking brake on? Nope. So let's uh, jump in and look at them. Yeah, we gotta go that other site. Maybe I haven't been to that one before. I was just thinking I was going straight up there because that may have been the only one I've come into in, in here before. Well, there we go. I'm doing a lot of that lately. I know it's happening in convoy and getting in a lot of ribbing from the guys on it. And I never used to run out of fuel, but just getting so <laughs> like we were talking earlier about me being in a hurry all the time and not necessarily dotting the I's and crossing the T's on everything I'm doing leads to me running around as a bit of a scatterbrain. Yeah, I'd say yes, their um, performer hasn't been into this location in a long time. Now, where are we gonna... Boy, this could get ugly. Try to get to turn. Come on, turn. There's our thingy over there. Well, I hope we get the, uh... Where should I place it option? I'm sure we will. That's how I got my... My d bobber set up. This trailer is from... What is it called? ATS Truck and Trailer Reviews, I think. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. Well, oh, sorry it took me so long there, Morgan. But... Uh, where should I place it? Oh, man, all the way back up around there. All right. 
What are the chances of getting the whole thing in the... Oh yeah, we got room up here on the right, I think, to swing out a bit. Okay, I can see where the end of the trailer has to go. It's this thing... This trailer doesn't steer too bad because if you can see the, um, how long... Look at the neck reach on the, uh, main trailer. See, it's got the flip down in place and it reaches way up far on the Jeep. And so when the Jeep starts to turn, it pulls the trailer over fairly quickly. As if that was a shorter coupled thing, it would just be following the, uh, the tandems on the Jeep, which would make it steer uh, a little wider. So it should, it should be able to get it on here. I think it's gonna come around all right. We'll see. I'm gonna run into it. Oh, got that tire there. Might get it in here. Oh yeah, that's looking good. As long as the length is good now. Yeah, kind of over over uh, steered it a bit there. No problems. Beacons are off. They must have went off when I ran out of fuel. These are off the highway. <laughs> We're still in trouble with fuel. <laughs> oh my god. Gonna have to fly out of here. Well, that was cool. I'm just gonna have a quick look and see if I, uh, if there's any other questions on here I could have made. A beta code for the truck. Oh, Martin was asking about a, Mar Marvin, Lindsay was asking about a beta code for the, um, uh, Ford WT9000 from, uh, ATS Custom Classics. I think you gotta just message him on Facebook. Let's face it, uh, um, Facebook page. Let's see what else? Well, I think that about covers it for now. Those are the questions I got, but. Yeah, if you want me to do more of that, then what I could do, I guess, is I could put them in a better format and just put them on the tablet, and then it would be a little more organized, and I could, you know, respond to questions in the videos. With, you know, on a longer drive, it's it's kind of nice. You can, instead of me trying to come up with something interesting to talk about, so I don't know how successful I am at that. But uh, So once again, um, I'll get this... Uh, skin in the trailer and whatnot up in the video description and as always guys make sure if you're new to the channel that you a lot of the questions for various things are in my tutorials and there's a link always in the video description to the facebook page no well the facebook the youtube channel the uh youtube tutorials discord um there's some useful links there and uh, you may find answers in there that you need and answers to questions, answers to your questions, whatever. Anyway, uh, as always, um, yeah, really appreciate having you along. It's great. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care and bye for now.